My name is Chi. I'm a student from Real Time Simulation Lab at UNAS WC. In this video, I'd like to introduce my project and my research work. In the 21st century, this world is beginning to explore the use of DC in power system. Recent trends indicate increasing use of DC-based power, and renewable energy resources require DC interfaces for optimal integration. However, in the DC grid, we are facing lots of challenges, like DC fault. I'm glad to share my research about DC fault current calculation and fault level analysis in modular multilevel converter-based medium voltage DC system. Modular multilevel converters have lots of submodules. The main differentiating feature between some modules is whether a submodule can generate voltages of single polarity or both polarities at its output terminals. Here, we focus on the half-bridge submodule that doesn't have the fault-write-through capability. When we use MMC to build a network, each MMC is as one node in the grid, connecting with transmission lines or cables that are like branches in this network. When the short circuit fault occurs, all capacitors are discharging at the same time, which contributes to the rise in the fault current. To analyze the fault response and calculate the fault current, I use the RLC equivalent method to simplify the network model. But network constructors are more complicated than the serene topology. So, I proposed an algorithm based on state space equations to calculate possible faults in different topologies with any locations in DC grids. The proposed method is validated with extended simulations in PLEX, evaluating fault current levels in different fault cases. However, the DC grid with medium voltage level is more complicated in the aspects of topologies and operating conditions. So, I established several cases to compare the fault response among different medium voltage multi terminal systems and tested this algorithm. The analysis shows that the fault resistance value, fault locations, system topologies, and operating conditions are the influencing factors. In this algorithm, the severest fault can be predicted with values and locations. This work offers insights on the design and development of MVDC networks from the perspective of fault level and system protection. Thank you so much for watching this video and thanks the Young Professionals and Student Activity Committee of the IES to give me this chance to share what I'm doing. Thank you.